Why does everyone hate Dirty Dominic in WWE is a question I've always asked myself. Is it because he's a cheaper version of Eddie Guerrero? Or maybe it's the fact that he turned on his father knowing that he can never be like him. This some selfish shit. Or maybe, just maybe, it's because he's got the hottest woman on the roster by his side. Ah, it should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Which begs the question, is Dominic a serious contender for the title of the best heel of the year? And yeah, I know you got stars like MJF, Roman Reigns and the entire Judgment Day, but Dominic is one of the most unique heels in the industry right now. And his character feels both fresh and enjoyable. Unlike other bad guys, he isn't cheered at all by the crowd. But despite that, there's a large portion of the wrestling community that has legit hated Dom even before he was a heel. But on the other hand, you have legends and veterans of the industry who praise the hell out of Dominic's character work right now in the WWE. And to me, that's when you know you're witnessing a true heel. So today, let's see what makes Dominic so special as a character and why he's not your average kind of heel. By beginning with, why do fans hate Dominic Mysterio? Well, when Dominic's proper debut came, it came during the pandemic era. It was with his father who was in a feud with Seth Rollins. And I think this is where the hate began for the fans, at the time who questioned the decision to feature Dominic on the main roster instead of having him spend a couple of years in NXT. And I guess this favoritism rubs some fans the wrong way. Because of this, in a similar fashion to The Rock, his happy to be here babyface gimmick didn't seem to catch on. Nevertheless, the feud between Seth and Rey moved on, and I guess to garner some sympathy, the WWE decided to have Seth and Buddy Murphy brutally attack Dominic with kendo sticks on an episode of Raw. <laughs> But it didn't generate the heat on Seth that WWE wanted. In fact, the fans kind of appreciate the beatdown Rollins gave the young Mysterio. And when it came to Dominic's debut match, it took place at SummerSlam against Seth Rollins. And even though he lost, Dominic did manage to show the WWE Universe he can wrestle as he showed up big to work and had an entertaining match with the architect. But because of the pandemic, for almost a year, he wrestled in front of zero fans. So it was hard to garner what the response was to his character. But looking at the YouTube YouTube and Reddit comments, it seems like nobody was on board of Dominic Mysterio's babyface run, as he wasn't really generating any sort of buzz. And while he is the son of the legendary Rey Mysterio, that doesn't guarantee a positive reaction from the crowd of fans in attendance. And while WWE had good intentions in introducing a new Mysterio to a new generation, the company should have learned from the past as they tried to replicate the success of Rey Mysterio's in the form of Kalisto, Sin Cara and Grand Metalik. But one thing they didn't realize is Rey is a one of a kind talent that legitimately cannot be copied. So when fans returned to attending the shows in 2021, Dominic still failed to incite any response from the live audience. And unfortunately, he was just a bland baby face. In fact, to me, he was one of those generic baby faces you create on those 2K games. I feel like fans didn't appreciate that Dom didn't perform in NXT before coming to the main roster. And to them, he was just someone that was getting all the opportunities mainly because he was related to a legendary performer. So WWE had to change something about him and something had to give and around 2022 it seemed like Ray and Dom's time together was coming to an end. So while they did have some good moments like winning the tag team titles together, it was clear the fans just didn't care about him and were ready to move on. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. But this is just when WWE caught lightning in a bottle with the Judgment Day. At the start of the year in 2022, the Judgment Day was experiencing a crisis of leadership. It kicked out Edge who was the leader of the stable and the remaining groups turned their attention to the Mysterios in the meantime. However, when Edge returned at SummerSlam, he wanted to get even with the stable that he initially formed. And a tag team match was set between the Judgment Day and the team of Ray and Edge at the Clash of the Castle pay-per-view. And this was the point where Dominic began to show his jealous side. Dominic was livid the fact that his father chose Edge over him. Hey, 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 mijo, Dom, Dom, Dom. I've known this man for 20 years. It's familia. You've known me for 25. Can't believe you're taking his side over mine. Don't, hey, don't go, hey, don't go there, Dom! And the early signs of a heel turn were beginning to show. So at the event, Ray and Edge were victorious over the Judgment Day, but the real fun was yet to begin. After the match, Dominic gave a low blow to Edge and his reaction was a thing of beauty. Hey, you, 
finally awake. The young mister would then give a devastating clothesline to Ray, solidifying himself as a proper heel in the process. If you're aware of Triple H's booking, then you would know he hates repetitiveness. However, the one thing that good old Paul loves is taking incredible moments from the past and implementing them in the present. For instance, Dom hitting the clothesline was reminiscent when Eddie turned on Ray back in 2005. Dominic did it in the exact same fashion he did. To say the least, the allegiance with the Judgment Day has been a breath of fresh air for the young Mysterio. It's easy to say now that Dominic has knocked this heel turn out the park by becoming one of those superstars that feels so annoying to the point where you want to punch him in the face. And on top of that, as the story developed, Dom found himself in a relationship with Rhea Ripley. And with his mommy by his side, this infuriated everyone even more because simps simply can't take the fact that such a good looking woman is beside him the entire time. The only advice we can give here is give your meat a good old rub. This fuels even more fire to the hatred towards Dominic Mysterio. They won't even let the poor man cut a decent promo. You know, at Wrestle... <laughs> at WrestleMania... I almost feel bad for you. So while some fans are still claiming that Dominic is still being handed all these opportunities when there are more deserving stars than him on the roster that are being overlooked like Chad Gable, Tommaso Ciampa and Ricochet. And it seems to have led to some unnecessary heat on the young star. And to a degree, it seems like he has go away heat from the WWE fans right now. Other than that, there's been critics saying that his in-ring abilities aren't all that good and some calling him a bland wrestler, going as far as calling him a poor copy of Ray and Eddie. For example, when you see the side by side between the three, you can see where the argument comes from. Some also like to point out that WWE pipes in fake crowd noises whenever Dominic tries to cut a promo, but I'm not too sure about that theory. And while all the critiques thrown towards Dom may somewhat be valid, here's the deal. Dom is improving. He shows up on Raw and NXT and is getting better inside the ring. For example, his North American title win against Wesley on NXT is a very entertaining match and helped further the Judgment Day storyline, which is always a plus. And as for the legit hate he's been receiving online, it's nothing but noise and certain legends and myself think the same way. And over the last year, many WWE legends and veterans have showed praise over Dirty Dom's efforts in becoming an effective heel. And current WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins, who explained how Dom was always meant to be a heel on Logan Paul's Impulsive Podcast. And certain wrestlers are just built that way and that's why Dom is so effective. He's he's because he's not like he's not built to be a baby face he's Rey Mysterio's kid like he's same thing like people think he's getting handed everything you know yeah. being Rey's kid and like it's so easy to want to hate nepotistic jerks yeah. right it's so easy to want to pe people like digging off their family name it's easy to hate that and I'm like the like they're gonna love him at first but eventually it's all gonna come back around and one of the greatest of all time himself, Shawn Michaels, even praised how Dom has matured in this business at such an early age during the NXT media call. If all of this proves anything, it's that Dom has come a long way and is finally getting a chance to step out of his father's shadow. And the only way he could step out of his father's shadow was to stop being a Mysterio and to become a man of his own. And it's crazy to think how Dom was a forgettable superstar at the beginning of 2022 and now he might be one of the best heels in the entire company. Considering these days it's easier to cheer for the bad guys, think of the top heels in the industry right now. MJF, Roman Reigns, Gunther, all of them are liked by the audience for the stuff they're doing on screen and the majority of the sections of the crowd cheer for them. Dom on the other hand is the complete opposite. The dude is a heat magnet. He gets legit booed out the building every single week. This is what a heel is supposed to do. Response, no matter what, was always big. In this day and age, I think controversy is always sold but if you don't have a certain level of negativity coming at you, you might not be doing as good as you think you are. If you don't have that many haters, you know what I mean? Like, I think oh, Cody yeah. said it, like, you gotta have some haters, you know? Yeah. That, that's the key to success sometimes. And I think Roman Reigns explained it best in terms of the mentality and the controversies that surround heels and the mindset that you have to be in to be one. And while most heels will kill for the kind of heat that Dom generates, you might find this absurd, but the main reason I feel like he works is because he doesn't feel that serious. I beg your pardon? 
When WWE aired the segments where Dominic and Rhea Ripley would enter Rey Mysterio's house and brutally attack him, those segments seemed to like have a comedic vibe to them, or maybe they didn't, I don't know, I could just have a dark humour. And whilst it's sad seeing Dom beat the shit out of his father, you couldn't help but laugh at the way he was doing it. Furthermore, when Dominic got arrested on Christmas Eve, he adopted the character of a convict who spent a hard time in prison. All of this made great television, the segments had an element of seriousness that mashed well with the absurdity surrounding it. I mean the dude went to prison for one day and it shaped his entire personality, gimmick and outlook on life. So here's the thing, WWE and Triple H were aware that Dominic doesn't have the physique or aura that would make him a top tier or threatening heel, which is why they went down the route of making him an annoying one through a unique twist. In many ways, Dominic Mysterio's heel run feels like a combination of several superstars from the past. His run right now obviously mimics Latino Heat's gimmick of Eddie Guerrero, and he has elements of Randy Orton's legend killer gimmick when Dom was going after his father earlier this year. Ray took care of me back in the day, and um... For me, so I wrestled Dom last Friday night on Raw. I was, it was such a pleasure to be out there with him and, and just to get to be out there knowing like, oh my God, I know your dad's at home watching. Like, yeah. I want to make your dad proud. Yeah. You know, like uh, it, it was, it was a great feeling. I am so proud of Dom as well. And I know exactly what you're talking about. When he first started coming up and Ray brought him around, it's like, oh, what do we do? This kid needs uh, another fucking 10 years. It's just, he's, He's got it now. And his pursuit for the championship and winning every match by any means necessary feels very reminiscent of Edge's ultimate opportunity days. Simply put, Dom is not your average heel. He feels like a superstar who has all the elements of great heels from the past. So for me, this is why Dominic Mysterio is a contender for best heel of the year. And to conclude, Rey Mysterio was always considered the ultimate underdog in the history of the company. And Dominic would have never reached the same heights while remaining a babyface. His villainous run has revitalized him as a performer and who knows maybe this will lead to him becoming the right kind of babyface that feels fresh in the future only time will tell and if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe